Hey everyone, this is Geeky Panda here and providing guys with my special kickoff to Panda's Halloween Month. This month I'm going to be playing a slew of horror based titles on a variety of systems and this time I'm going to kick it off with a very special one. The Thing for the original Xbox. Now, for those who don't know, I'm a huge fan of The Thing. Uh, the John, uh, John Carpenter's 1982 version, not the current prequel one to that. But there was a sequel video game, the John Carpenter's movie, that took place after the events of the film which you've got to find out a little bit more about what happened you know to the base what were the events that unfolded but also like what was happening overall in the antarctic because it was something bigger going on so with that here folks i'm gonna check this out yes i am playing it on the original xbox oh i don't want to do that there but i got the original xbox controller right here the reason why, how i'm able to get this done is i'm able to get the composite to hdmi uh, device with my capture card and somehow it works so with this let us get going here so I don't know much of the controls I pretty much forgot I played this back on the PS2 but I'm playing it on the original Xbox because it has a little bit more detail to this so a uh, new game uh, let's see here <laughs> auto aiming <laughs> um, I'll, I'll go normal here just for shits and heels It's Whitley. What's the situation? Not good. What do you see? Not a goddamn thing in this storm. Have you found anything? Well, your transmitter's down and everything else is foobar. What do you mean? The base is gone, Colonel. It looks like massive explosives damage. Any clues here are gonna be like finding a needle in a haystack. Understood. Do a recon, see if you can find anything that'll give us an idea what happened. I could try to get the chopper back to you within an hour, but visibility is falling fast and the report for your area is not very good. Okay. We'll make a sweep and report back. Roger. Meanwhile, I'll check up on Alpha Team. Oh, Blake. Just remember it's 40 below out there. We both know exposure could sneak up on you. Keep your team together and get them to shelter as quickly as you can. Roger that. Blake out. Alright, so right now we're here at the U.S. Outpost North 31 directly after the events of the uh, 1982 movie. So, tutorial, yes! Uh, no, I'm going to need a tutorial. So, objectives, you can play the game with objectives. So, the thing about this game... Oh my god! This game controls weird! Uh, okay, this is really weird controls, but... The cool thing about this game is that the longer I'm outside, the more I will be exposed to the elements and I have to get inside because it would... I would freeze to death, basically, so... Oh, God. God damn, like, I have to get used to these controls. This isn't... Blake, you need anything repaired or even a simple bypass and I'm your man. If any of you take on any damage, get back to me ASAP and I'll help you out. I'm not carrying any dead bodies back. I'm locked, loaded, and ready to make shit dead. Uh, 
yes, the interesting mechanic about this game is trust. You have to trust your teammates, and the teammates have to... Well, you have to, the teammates have to trust you, basically, because in the thing, you don't know who's infected or not. And this was a really cool mechanic where if you take away your teammates' weapons, they'll start not trusting and be like, okay, why are you doing this? And you need to Area earn the trust secure. by, like, giving them medical supplies, weapons, ammunition, you know. It actually got pretty deep. So... Uh, a lot of people, uh, the most infamous thing is the junction, these junction fuse boxes! Oh, so, yeah. No, no, no. I, I can fix it myself. Don't worry. Don't worry, so. Whoa! Ow. Ow. Uh, medic. Medic. Hold still and I'll fix okay, you up. alright, it's automatic. I'm like, yep, thank you. Okay, uh, me. Uh, no, how do I pick stuff? Okay, X. Okay, X is to pick stuff up. Let me get some more ammo. And let me. Oh, hi. <laughs> okay. Uh, so yeah, this. Uh, okay, this was, I believe, the radio room that I've gone to hell. So now, if I. Okay. Stuff still likes to blow stuff up. So, again, now we're out here in the elements. This is actually pretty cool. This was the rec room area, and man, you can see signs that yeah, they because uh, in the movie they decided to destroy the base because they didn't want any, they didn't want the thing to survive. So they destroyed it in order to expose it to the elements. So if they couldn't kill it, they could definitely freeze it, and hopefully no one would find it. So, oh, this cold is killing me. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, I know your whole body's numb here, but uh, this is actually pretty cool because it's like, um, they try to be as accurate to the movies as possible, not all of I can find you need to find a key. Damn it, uh, where's the key? Uh, you know what, gain access to the infirmary. Okay, let's just go over here. And what do we have? Oh, god damn, yeah, this was... <laughs> this was definitely an interesting area. Yeah, this was the massive explosion here. Uh, is there anything going on here? No, there is not. So let's go down here. Pierce, come in. Hey, you're reading me. Over. I need help. I'm sh you're reading me. Over. Hmm. Okay, radio oh, signal. This cold is killing me. <laughs> I know it's killing you, but we gotta keep moving. And okay, sweet. Uh, fire extinguisher, good. So now, like, right here we're safe, but as soon as I get back out there again, they're gonna start complaining at me, like, Can we get inside here? Which, I can't blame them. This is Antarctica. Uh, shit tends to get cold. So. Okay, like, oh, this is something really special. I played this game beforehand, so I'm just gonna let this thing play its course. I'm gonna hide this tape when I'm finished. If none of us make it, at least there'll be some kind of a record. The storm's been hitting us pretty hard now for 48 hours. We still have nothing to go on. One other thing. I think it rips through your clothes when it takes you over. Windows found some shredded long johns, but the name tag was missing. They could be anybody's. We're all very tired. There's nothing else I can do. Just wait. R.J. McCready, helicopter pilot, U.S. Outpost North 31. That was really awesome, like, for them having it in there. Like, they couldn't, they didn't need to put it in there, but they did it anyways. Because, again, this was based off the, uh, the sequel to the movie, which I believe, um, uh, I believe this is canon, too, to be honest. Um, I think I didn't visit this area yet, so I'm gonna walk right in here. And... What the hell? What do you think it is, Captain? I don't know, and I don't care. Looks like a goddamn UFO to me. This shit gives me the creeps. Yeah, yeah, we're not alone in the universe and all that crap. Check it out and move on. Uh, this is actually really cool because in the movie, uh, the thing was making a basically a flying saucer to try to escape the area. So, okay, now we got the key. So now I gotta go back to the base and do my thing. So, all right.
right? I'm just gonna come right up here. But yeah, I just love it. Like the level of detail, like of so many things they put into this is just amazing. It's just great. So, um, well, the fact that they had like a, a really cool gameplay elements in this game that was released back on the original Xbox and the PS2 was awesome. And I believe there was also a PC version as well. So I'm just gonna go open up this ship. All right. Oh. Uh, virus is the ability to replicate the original uh, biological entity, including the clothing. Now, this is um, this is the weird part here is, is that I don't think it was able to replicate the clothing, but it was definitely able to replicate like the full body. Um, <laughs> can we get lights in here? <laughs> uh, access door. Uh, okay. Can we get lights? <laughs> Could someone turn on a light, please? An infected entity reaches the mainland where global infection will occur in approximately 7,200... Uh, 7,200 hours, which... Let's do a little math here. So, 7,200 hours... Or, 72K hours, divided by 24 in a day. 3,000 days which divide that you know goddamn like 3,000 days really is, is my math right here yeah it should be right like like let's let's do that again 72,000 divided by 24 hours in a day yeah 3,000 days so in 3,000 days it would affect the entirety of the earth and uh god can, I, can we seriously get some power going on in here in here in this shit because this is gonna be bugging the fuck out of me that or I need to turn on the brightness which um, oh god, menu, haha, <laughs> I can't believe I'm doing this, I'm turning up the fucking brightness, uh, brightness, let's turn up just a little bit, and we're good, we're good, okay, okay, now I can see things a bit better, uh, adrenaline hypos, you're picked up, uh, situation with are suffering from extreme stress, okay, so if my teammates are, like, freaking the fuck out, I can be like, Hey, here's this. Take it. It's good for you. So, okay, that is destroyed right there. Is this a fuse box? Okay, advanced uh, boxes. Get your engineers to fix. You need to first identify the box by walking up to it until its name appears, and you would appear. There are two ways to do it. Ask the engineer to fix it. Okay, so if I go up to here, I could be like, Dude, can you do this? Can you do this? Okay, there we go. Please fix it! No, 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 no. No, you're gonna fix this. Okay, thank you. Fix it. Okay. <laughs> Please fix it! <laughs> Alright. Alright, there we go. We got some power go- Oh! Okay. Ah, oh, Christ, what is that? Chill out. Everybody keep tight till we figure out what's going on. Okay, so squad members fear. Squad member person B. Paid attention to this picture. What he's doing. Okay. So right now, one of my squad mates is kind of freaking out a bit. Yeah. Uh, Walden's freaking out. So I'm gonna try to see if I can, like, calm him down a little bit. But I want to figure out some more information what's going on. So, alright. Uh, I've compiled a five-page report. The autopsy performed on the... Anomalous corpse that was discovered at the Norwegian outpost. It appears what we are dealing with is some kind of self-repairing entity that has the ability to morph itself into different biological forms. Access to my supply is limited to myself and Gary. Code 1138. So there we go. <laughs> That's the kind of information Whitley was talking about. All right. I gotta find that report. All right, so now I can go up here. I can enter the code and... All right. I'm okay. Okay, so now, like, the cool thing is that he's now okay. Like, uh, I brought him out of the area, and now he's he's not freaking the fuck out anymore. If, yeah, he's, yeah, he's okay. Uh, data room. Yes, please fix that shit. <laughs> I want right. this shit to be open. So many junction boxes. Got there. This is making me remember this shit, too. Uh, what do we got here? Saving the game. Okay, so this is how I saved the game. Auto recorders. And yes, I am playing it on the original Xbox here, so... New save! Saving, saving, saving! Alright, uh, okay, save the game, and where does this take- Oh, god damn it! <laughs> I'm out in the cold again. 
So I have to go over here, and this is, I think, where... Okay. There we go. Whitley, this is Blake. What have you got? One body. Identification says childs, no survivors. And what appears to be a... One body? And, 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 and what? And some kind of unidentified craft. It looks... Well, like a, a UFO. Colonel? Colonel! Roger. I'll have a chopper there ASAP. There's a supply crate that was dropped earlier near the base. It contains C4 charges. I want you to rig all the remaining buildings and I'll remote detonate them from here. Affirmative. I'll contact you when we're finished. his body with uh, the one cool thing here is he actually has the one uh, the bottle of alcohol that he was drinking so uh, that to me I thought that was pretty cool so all right uh, was this the drop yes this was the drop so uh, let's open it up let's grab the C4 okay infirmary and the radio room so now we're gonna go back so yeah it's like it's like nice nods here and there they did to the game, so... <laughs> Don't say that! Whenever anyone says I got a bad feeling about this in a horror movie, shit will get fucked up. <laughs> shit will never go as planned. <laughs> it's like almost cementing yourself that, yeah, you're gonna die. Okay. Uh, let's see here. I gotta go here. And yep, here we go. Okay, we're this mission is bullshit. <laughs> yeah, I don't. You know what else is bullshit? <laughs> Being out here in the fucking gold, but you don't see me complaining. I'm just out here doing my thing. You know, I got sent in to check s some shit out, and that's what we're gonna do. So, oh, where my fucking other squad mates are. So, Weldon, <laughs> you shut the fuck up. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna save this game again because I'm a firm believer of saving. Uh, select yes, please save, 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 and okay, right here. So, right. Uh, and here is the evac point, I believe. So, Colonel, we've completed the explosives placement. Standing by for evac. Anything from Alpha Team? Negative. Could be the storm. Must be. I've been getting partial transmissions for the last hour or so. I'm going to assemble my team. When the chopper arrives, I'll have it drop me at Alpha's rendezvous. Negative. You have your orders, Captain. Don't put this mission in jeopardy. I understand, Colonel, but I don't have much choice. Pierce's team is in trouble. Besides, if there are any survivors, I'm the only one on the team that speaks Norwegian. Blake out. Roger, Colonel. This is Blake. Have you found anyone yet? Nothing yet. I just arrived. The storm is worsening. It may take a while to find anything. Looks like that little stunt of yours might pay off. I don't understand, Colonel. I received a partial transmission from Pierce. He's found something. Might be research. Find him and get back to me ASAP. Affirmative. Did he say if there were any hostiles in the area? Negative. No hostiles. Okay, I'm on it. Blake out. Okay, light poles. Uh, it needs to get my way. So now we are at the Norwegian base. So in uh, John Carpenter's movie, uh, the only reason why they went out to this Norwegian base is because of the dogs, the dog helicopter scene. They were like, okay, what the hell did the Norwegians found? And in the prequel movie, was basically showcasing the events. Uh, what happened what happens in Norwegian team. so I can't go through there because it's electrified so 
Yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna be posing an issue. So I thought it wasn't as good as it should have been. Like I thought they should have not done the CGI, but the end of the movie of the prequel to the thing left off right into the John Carpenter's version, which I thought, you know, that's fresh flare. Hmm. Couldn't have been here too long. Yeah, I thought that was a really good nod to them. So, uh, what's going on here? Uh, can I open the door? Nope. Yeah. Okay, and. Oh, wait, junction box. Here we go. Power supply. Ha! I can fix this! Without electrocuting myself here. Alright. Alright, so we're just gonna go. Oh, I fucking hate those things. Identify yourself. Captain, it's Carter. Christ, where's everybody? What happened here? Some. I don't know what they were, but they attacked us. I thought they was part of the, the... 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 Wait a minute. Don't you come any closer. Where the hell did you come from anyways? A chopper brought me in. From the U.S. research station, five clicks south of here. Ah, uh, I'm hurt pretty bad. Don't move. I'll see what I can do. Okay, if my squad mate is injured, I can heal them. Approach him and press X. I'll turn. Okay. So, uh, dealing with trust card is to try to trust you. We won't cooperate until he does. Try giving a weapon and some ammunition. Okay. Okay. So Carter is he's freaking the fuck out. He doesn't know what to believe in. So. All right. I'm okay. I'm pretty messed up. Okay. Area looks secure. All right. So uh, Carter, are you gonna follow me? Uh, follow. Forget it. Okay, no, he doesn't trust me yet, so... I'm gonna give him... I'm gonna give him my pistol here. Maybe you will get us out of this. And... God damn it. Only... Uh, pistol ammo. Okay, there we go. So I'm gonna give him some ammo. So now, as you see here, now Carter trusts me. So, uh, okay. So I'm gonna have him follow me. Okay, so Carter trusts me, so that's that's good. I want him to do that. Okay, uh, what we got here? CCT ter terminals, okay. Uh, wait, is the power fucked up? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, Carter, fix some shit, please. Alright, so. Okay, so now stuff is on, but very limited, so. Uh, There's gotta be something in here that can help me. Yep. Yeah. Uh, looking through the CCTV camera, and, uh, oh, hi! I got a teammate right there, but this is, this is really cool, that's the icebox where the thing came from. Like, if you haven't seen the movie, I know that's, like, kind of, like, spoiler, like, a, like, crazy, uh, oh, there it is. but, um, I highly recommend watching the movie, John Carpenter's movie, it's really, really good. So, I'm gonna go in here. We're all going crazy. This thing is in ice. Don't know who is human, who isn't. Morale is low, and I don't think our chances are good. Okay. So, uh, okay. I'm going to save this right here. I'm going to end it off right here. But, again, this is a very special. Uh, the Halloween month is going to go on all of October. So, every week, my aim is to complete at least one to two games a week. And they'll all be horror games. And on the Halloween day... Is gonna be something very special I have planned for it. So hopefully, uh, this month in October is gonna be a great month. Uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe and like, and also post on the comment box of what horror game you like to see, and if you're also a huge fan of the thing and what your experiences is in this video game. So again, uh, if you want to support my channel as well, go with the extra mile. Also ch uh, check out my Patreon page, and you can support me th uh, through there. Any and all uh, Patreon donations will go towards back to the channel, help make it better. This is Geeky Band here. I'm out. Stay geeky, my friends.